you know, a stitch in time, they say, saves nine. So, and so to ensure that the road serving their community is given the desired attention, residents of Taiwo Adewumi Imafidon Crescent in Okoaba GRA Scheme 1 of Ifakoijai local government area are appealing to Lagos State Government to complete the project abandoned by the contractor for the past three years. Here is a background story. Residents of Taiwa Demome Imafidon Crescent in Okwaba GRA Scheme 1 of Ifakoijai local government area of Lagos State are not happy. Hence, they gathered here to express their frustration over the abandoned Taiwa Dome Imafidon Road Project. The 977-meter-long road, which was awarded in 2018, is yet to be completed despite commencement of work in December 2019. They are worried that the project, which was expected to be completed within nine months, is yet to see the light of day three years after. They staged a peaceful protest over the issue with placards displaying various inscriptions. The chairman of Okwaba GRA Scheme 1 Residents Association, Ayobadi Obajimi, wondered why the project has been abandoned when the state government is not owing the contractor. About 20 years ago, the government awarded a road project for us, but unfortunately it was abandoned halfway. And since then, we've been doing self-help, constructing a lot of roads by ourselves and drainage all over the estate. We did it ourselves. The main gate, and a lot of road networks were through self-help. They urged the state government to prevail on the contractor to return to site and complete the road project before the rain starts. The contractor will come for one week and go away for two months and another rainy season is approaching. So I appeal to government after thanking His Excellency, uh, Mr. Sonwulu, is for him and the team, the deputy governor and the special advisor works and infrastructure to compel the contractor to come back to site and complete the road. We are aware that government has done the needful. Government has paid everything that should be paid in tranches, but the contractor is not performing. So all we want to save us from agony is we are appealing to the Lagos State Government to compel the contractor, Riveria Resources Limited, to come back to site and complete this project. The rains are coming now. And we believe that a road of nine months that is going beyond three years is not the kind of thing our governor would like. The residents expressed trust in the administration of Governor Babachide Somolu to intervene. Sam, I, I, I think government, well, contract should be like the game of football. You kick and follow. In That's this right. case, from the report, the contractor has been paid. So where's the problem? And, and Jide talked about nobody punishing bad behavior. That, that's, that's why I'm bothered, a citizen. Um, and I, I, I feel pained, you know, hearing the, uh, the team lead uh, at that event saying the contractor should be compelled. And I'm trying to reconcile all that. How do you compel someone who has been fully mobilized and paid? I mean, that was an open admission. <laughs> The man should be made to face, you know, the consequences for his action. That's the way I look at it. Because Oba Rinewa remains a challenge for most of the governments in this country. So for a government that is doing all that it could, you know, to get the environment in, in proper shape, just like, you know, Swalu is doing, doing in Lagos, should not, uh, his efforts should not be frustrated. Because that's, that's what it. I see at this that's point. It. That's what yeah. I see at this point. I think the contractor, beyond being compelled, should be made to see reason. And where he defaults, should be made to face the law. He's, he's collected money for it. He's been totally mobilized. So what else? Should, we go, should the residents go on their knees or should the government go on, on its knees to, you know, to plead with him to get the job done? Except it's probably somebody who is um, very influential or probably you know, part of the administration otherwise. Uh, uh, and so why, why should he be put? I mean, his name was mentioned. Yeah, so what? He, sh uh, he, sh he should be made to do what, uh, what, what is right. The government has I, done the needful. Yeah, Mayor. I acknowledge that the government of Adide Sanwolo and the one of Ambode before him did very well when it comes to inner roads. 
they did a lot of inner roads. Part of the problem in Lagos was that our inner roads was in state of despair, but the two administration did a lot of inner roads. I don't know the government that awarded this particular contract, but I know that when Ambody started his No, no, if, if a man talks about three years ago, obviously you could have gone back to Ambody's government. Yes, that's um, because what, what I was saying that is that during Ambody's time, when he, the first set of inner roads that he did, two in each local government and LCDA, they gave it to um, the chairman of the local governments to do. I'm aware that part of the contracts were awarded to senior party officials yeah. to do those roles. You understand? Point. So if that is the case here, it could be that a top government, a top party, not government, party official was given the role to do. But I want to tell, I want to appeal to the governor that there's a difference between the party and the government. Mm. If any party official That's it. Has, been, has been mobilized and was given a contract and he defaulted, he must be paid, he must be made to pay for whatever he has done. That's it is it. not, it is not acceptable for government to want to, to, to improve to, the life of citizens. To, 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 yes, to improve the life of citizens and do in arrows. And then they will award contract to somebody. And for whatever reason, the person will not do it. It's unacceptable, whoever the person is. Yeah. So yeah. the government should do the needful because it's the state money. It has been mobilized. It must be made to do that or refund that mm. money that he has been given. Uh, uh, and the heat is on the chairman of the local government. Absolutely. Be because the man on the street every day would seeing the chairman of the uh, local government that's the as not doing anything. That's the person they get to see. And, and of course, government is meant to be a, a continuum. I mean, you can't just fold up your arms and say, I mean, raise up your hand and surrender and say, I wasn't, I wasn't involved. I mean, he has, to, he has to lead. And I think that the very good thing that has been done is that um, government is being held accountable, speaking up and telling government that this is wrong and the solution needs to be found to it. I think that for me is very important. All right. After all, governance is all about making life a lot less cumbersome for, for the government. And comforting for citizens. Mm -hmm.